Welcome to Clean Radio, helping to navigate the journey of recovery by removing the stigma and offering a choice for a new life. You know, one of the things you're open and honest about is that you dealt with clinical depression. I discovered that I had run for 30 years. I was a jogger. I ran. Every time this feeling came, I would run, and I and I was successful, and I didn't have to, like like most drugs, I didn't have to run more. I could do it 25 to 40 minutes, five days a week, and it regulated my mood. Hmm. Uh, it was when I fell off a roof and got hurt that I couldn't run anymore, and my life started getting darker and darker. I started losing joy in things that were b- really fun for me. And, um, and I, I be, uh, the behaviors aroused. Um, once my doctor told me that I wasn't alone, it wasn't my fault, uh, because I thought that success would fill up this emptiness. Um. And the more successful I became, uh, the, the deeper the hole be, it became, and uh, and I blamed myself, and I was I felt ashamed because I you know why wasn't it going away, and what was wrong with me, and shame on you. Um, but it was only when I was diagnosed that I was like I felt like I hit the lottery. I there was no shame there, hmm. knowing what the problem was, and it didn't belong to me, and that it was genetic in nature, and I I realized that my mother was this you know i i always i had a resentment toward my mom because i she wasn't an alcoholic she didn't drink but she ate and she smokes four packs of cigarettes um a day her father my grandfather was an alcoholic 